at the risk of being extremely insensitive and hyperbolic, there is now a whole new reason for September the 11th to be considered a day of infamy. That reason is a motion for a bill that has been introduced into Parliament by one Lucy Powell, a Labour and Cooperative Party MP for the Manchester Central area. This bill, known simply as the Online Forums Bill, aims to make administrators and moderators of certain, vague I know, forums responsible for content that users place there, creating yet another incentive to stifle open information. This is some seriously abusable shit. Unless you think that they're going to be really, really careful about how they define things when they craft the actual bill, listen to this stuff. Um, Lucy, this is much wider than hate speech, isn't it? It's about making administrators and moderators of online forums liable for hate speech, misinformation, fake news and so on and so forth. It's much wider than hate speech. It's about hate speech one step removed. It is, yes. When asked whether the bill is designed to tackle things as vague and arbitrarily interpretable according to individual political bias as hate speech and fake news, Lucy Powell broadly concurs. Because just like our newspapers, our broadcasters, our radio programmes, they are held to very high standards, high journalistic standards, high standards of accountability and responsibility. But many, well, the online forum world is unaccountable really and is, doesn't have the same level of responsibility at all. And many of these online forums, some of these Facebook groups for example, have tens of thousands of members in them and their power and their penetration and their reach far exceeds those of many of our national newspapers, of many of our radio stations. Yet if something is posted in there about you which is wrong or libelous or if something is posted in there which is racist or misogynistic or is inciting acts of violence, uh, there's very little anyone can do about it. So um, I think it's about time the law caught up. These people interpret racism and misogyny to be anything that could conceivably in any way disadvantage anyone on the basis of race or gender, so this is pretty much carte blanche to have an internet that while ostensibly composed of separate entities with their own rules, is in fact curated centrally by government. Now, this is exactly what you'd expect from a member of the Labour Party, but if you're paying attention it's exactly what you should expect from a member of the Conservative Party too. Famous living meme, Jacob Rees-Mogg is living up to his moniker as the honourable member for the 18th century by putting his name on this bill that so exemplifies an archaic understanding of the internet. This might be news to some internet people, but Mogg is not actually a classical liberal who makes his main political focus the expansion of freedom enjoyed by the citizenry. No, Mogg is a guy who's scared of change. The internet didn't exist when he was a lad, so he's frightened of what it might do if he can't control it. The fear of terrorism is an important motivator behind this bill too, so it's quite clear that this bill combines the worst of the establishment left and right. A bipartisan ass reaming is what you get. You get people scared of terrorism and just plain change, frankly, joining forces with people who think every form of organic hierarchy is oppressing them. Same story as always. Why would you plan to get your hopes up that it could be otherwise? Now, I'll admit that I'm a little hazy on the exact process behind bills, and this is just my near enough live reaction today, but this appears to be a motion to bring in a bill and not a bill itself. That's not a reason to downplay it though. It was read today and will be read again on October the 26th. In this political climate with such bipartisan support, there's a real good chance that if an actual bill is crafted, it would pass into legislation. So it's already a disaster at this stage. This is the beginning. You can read Lucy Powell's motion in the link in the description. It's all about Nazi types congregating and revenge porn and fake cures to autism and everything that is nasty and a lie. The fact that these things exist seems sufficient for things like this to gain support purely on emotional grounds, without anyone thinking of the long-term consequences. What a pile of sh**.